Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Tubby Emu. Here we go. We're going to talk about this. Last night's Slammy Awards. Roman Reigns, who's been injured and out for quite a while now. One superstar of the year. The man that, besides the Royal Rumble eliminations this year, hasn't done a damn thing. And I'm not crapping on Roman Reigns in any means of the word. Because I think Roman Reigns will be a future superstar. I think he will be a future WWE champion. And I think his build is already started. If it wasn't for that injury, he would be, you know, on his way to facing Brock Lesnar at Mania, and he probably still is. You know, when he came out to accept the award last night, obviously, they joked about having acting classes, and I see Roman Reigns potentially moving on to something like The Rock's Path. I see him eventually maybe going to movies, maybe going to bigger things, because I truly think Roman Reigns can be a superstar. The difference is Daniel Bryan became a superstar from his work ethic, from everything that he did in the ring, and we fell in love with him. The Yes Movement grew. Everything happened. Roman Reigns is being forced down our throats constantly. And, you know, one of the things I, I was listening to Colt Cabana and, and CM Punk 2, obviously their second part, and, you know, he said, you got to go out there against the Shield, 3v1. I said, okay, well, they're going to beat me, right? Well, well, no, you're going over, but you got to make Roman look strong. And during the interview, he keeps shitting on him. He's like, I, I know what the fuck to do. Like, I get it. He's like, why don't we just have Roman win? win, Roman win. Well, no, no, no you, you're going over, but, you, but make Roman look strong. And, you know, that has been in the plans now for over a year to make Roman be built into the superstar. And I don't have a problem with one superstar a year or maybe more being built to future levels of a Brock Lesnar, of an Undertaker, of a John Cena. I think it's fine. But the fact that Roman Reigns, who besides this year facing Randy Orton and, you know, getting the most Royal Rumble eliminations, he didn't do anything. And I know there's going to be some detractors, but he didn't do anything to win Superstar of the Year. And I, I think WWE is, is doing this, and I, I feel like there's no way in hell he won. Like, I honestly, out of all the awards, you know, some you look through the rig, some people, I mean, maybe people would just really love him, Roman Reigns. I love him. Like I said, he is going to be a future super, major superstar. He absolutely will. And I think he'll go on to bigger and better things. But as far as this year, it's like John Cena. People always hate on John Cena for winning, but in a year, you know, he's champion. He's headlined some pay-per-views. He's done this. And, you know, even in the year of CM Punk, John Cena won, you know, the superstar of the year. But he at least did some things, you know, to make it worthwhile. Roman Reigns really didn't do anything. And the more you hear these stories from CM Punk, and a lot of people, you know, it can't be that way. It's not that way. The more and more you hear this stuff, the more you think, my God, he's absolutely right. Because I don't know why in the heck Roman would have got that honor if it wasn't for them obviously having major plans. And I think Smalls joked about it. And said, you know, on Twitter, he's like, you know, for my NXT source, it's going to be Roman Reigns beating, you know, Brock and, and Seth in like the same night as the match is over. So we're going to have to restart it because I, I don't want to re-record this video. We'll just restart the match because I fucked up. But at what point does Roman get over because of what Roman's doing versus at what point does Roman get over because of how much the WWE is doing to get him over. You know, Daniel Bryan just naturally came about, and we all fell in love with him, and he went out there and wrestled gauntlet matches. He started wrestling more than one, you know, in a night. He started, you know, really proving to everybody that he had what it takes. Roman has kind of been had, handed stuff on a silver platter, and, and there's nothing really wrong with that in this industry because, you know, obviously not everybody can just come in and become this major superstar like John Cena. Like, if it wasn't for as much as Vince McMahon and WWE are behind him, John Cena wouldn't be at the level he's at. So I don't have a problem at all with Roman getting this backing of the WWE. I have no problem with him, you know, eventually being coming a superstar, but I just, I, f I feel like there's a, a disconnect right now, and especially in WWE, and I know we complain about this, and, you know, I do especially, where I, I just, I don't even want to watch Raw anymore. I, I, I can't tune in, and, it, you know, they Vince McMahon kept saying, you know, I, if two guys are just out there fighting and, and there's no story, I, I'm not invested in the match. I don't care. Why would I ca 
the stories you're telling now don't make me care. So I don't know what the WWE brass is doing, you know, where Roman goes from here. I think, like I said, he not got hurt. I think he would have been in the main event already this year. I think he would have been pushing towards his main event spot at WrestleMania. I still think he's going to go on and probably either win the Royal Rumble or, you know, through fast lane or some way or another, get his way into the title shot. And I, and I, I see, you know, him possibly beating Brock Lesnar in the main event because... You know, Brock Lesnar winning, and this is what, you know, Vince McMahon said in the interview with Stone Cold Steve Austin, is that going into WrestleMania 31, I don't think there is a bigger superstar than Brock Lesnar. I mean, he's the guy that went out and defeated the Undertaker streak 21-1, and one, the man that put the one behind the one in the 21-1 and one with Paul Heyman. And, you know, they alluded to it last night a little bit with Paul Heyman talking about Seth Rollins and how he went after his client, and I was like, okay, you know, Seth could, you know, turn on the authority, whatnot. He could join Paul Heyman. John Cena could eventually bring him back. He could lose number number contendership. And then, uh, you know, th there's a lot of different ways they could go with it. And then I kept thinking about, well, where does Roman Reigns fit in all this? What is Roman Reigns going to do, you know, to be superstar of the year? Because I think if, if he had not gotten hurt and, you know, he would have been able to continue going on after his matches with Randy Orton, I, I wonder what he would have done this year and, you know, make me invest more because, you know, he's appearing via satellite and he, he showed up. And, you know, I think one of the things I heard on Twitter last night was I was like, well, what has Roman Reigns actually done legitimately? What has Roman Reigns done to earn a main event title shot? And at least 10 people have said, well, he used bitch in a promo once. He, you know, uses bitch in promos. And I think when that's your defining characteristic as a superstar, and, and you know, and multiple people say that, I think there's an issue with that. You know, one of the things that people always complained about with Roman was, you know, he goes out there, he basically does the same thing. Like John Cena, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold. They all have their moves of doom. They all don't do very much. But the way Roman was built, he's been in the WWE for two plus years. Same thing with Bray Wyatt when he debuted. And I said this was, you know, Bray came out, and he wrestled at first against Kane at SummerSlam. I was there. And then he took a step back, and then the Wyatt family wrestled. And there was still so much mysterious things to Bray Wyatt that by the time a full year in, we still hadn't seen all of what he's capable of, all the moves he brings to the table. And Roman is that guy. You know, we haven't got to see what Roman is fully capable of because he really hasn't wrestled these super long singles matches that can make him look like an absolute beast. Everything that's made him look like a beast is in six mans, you know, is in is in tag team matches, is in the Royal Rumble. He hasn't gotten that shot to be the superstar of the year. The Shield winning faction of the year, I absolutely agree with. But as a singles competitor, the superstar, the guy that carries your company, I would have rather had Brock Lesnar win last night than I would have had Roman Reigns win. And for a, you know, a simple reason, Brock Lesnar was the guy that went out and defeated the Undertaker's streak. Whether he's a part-timer and people hate the fact he's a part-timer, you know, he went out there and he did what he had to. And he is the guy that is carrying the company. He beat John Cena, the guy that everybody always bitches about wins. Well, guess what? He went out, suplexed him 16 times, and humbled the fuck out of him. That's what Brock Lesnar did. So I'm a big fan of Roman. I think Roman is going to have a great career, guys, but I don't think he should have won Superstar of the Year. I want to know what you guys think as, oh, shit. Brock Lesnar stopping the spear. Just when you thought it was over, Brock Lesnar able to stop it. Oh, shit, but Roman. Roman raids with the reversal now. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts, opinions on this. Where do they go? How do they do it? Is Roman going to go on to be the biggest superstar in the history of the WWE? Maybe not the biggest, but the most pushed from the company. Everything you see from CM Punk, the more I see it, the more I believe it. And uh, like I said, Roman's headed for greatness. WWE has just got to stop pushing him down our throats and, and let Roman speak for himself. Because right now, Roman's work hasn't speak for himself. The WWE's work has speak for Roman. So 
Roman, I, I can't wait to see what you actually do bring to the table. I want to see you go out there. I want to see you become the next Rock, John Cena, Roman Reigns. You can be that guy, but you've got to do it. Whether you're kissing the brass ring, whether you're going out there and taking chances, you've got to let the work speak for itself. You've got to be the superstar. You can't rely on WWE. And that's, that's all I hope for Roman Reigns. I hope he can be that guy. I hope he can go out and do him. That's what I want from Roman Reigns. Going into WrestleMania 30, I have no issues with him winning. I have no issues with him getting a mega push starting at Royal Rumble. We have just got to let Roman Reigns work speak for himself. So, that's pretty much, oh shit. Brock Lesnar is going to do it. Brock Lesnar is about to bury the boy. He's got him up top. But again, Roman stops it. Roman Reigns goes out there. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Failed miserably. How many times can he stop it? How many times can he avoid the big, bad Brock Lesnar? And what better way for Brock Lesnar to contribute to the wrestling business than going out there, putting Roman Reigns over on the biggest show of them all, and making shit happen? Oh, I keep forgetting there's no stamina. <laughs> I have no stamina. I couldn't finish the match. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, that'll pretty much wrap things up as we're trying to finish the match, but we don't have any stamina bar. It's kind of hard to finish things when you have no stamina. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Roman about to hit that spear. He's going to end things. Brock, turn around, Brock. Spear. There it is. Finally finishing off Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns goes on to carry the company for all of next year. Make him look strong. That's all I can say.